¿Sabes todo lo que hay que hacer para hacer una buena compra o una buena venta de inmuebles? Si no lo sabes, acompáñanos. Pues en el proyecto final de esta unidad, aprenderemos a comprar y vender propiedades. Unit 4, Lesson 15, Project Classified Advertisements Part 1. Elegirán la vivienda que quieren vender y recopilarán la información sobre esta. Hi, my name is Saul Sangano and I am a real estate agent. Look, here is my car. Do you know what a real estate agent is? Well, my job is to buy and sell houses and apartments. But now, I don't have a job. I need a house to sell, but no one in this town's selling their house. <laughs> Antonio? Hmm? Do you hear that noise? Mm. Oh, what noise? Mm. It's water! Oh. Mm. What? Oh no! The house is flooding! Antonio, what happened? Oh, it's a lot of water. The house will never be dry again. Yes, it's a mess. Everything is useless. <laughs> Look at the floor, oh. and the walls. Oh. It will be very expensive to fix the house. <laughs> Excuse me, sir and madame. <laughs> My name is Saul Sangano, <laughs> and I'm a real estate agent. <laughs> I can see you have a little problem. <laughs> A little problem? The house is flooded! I can see that. And I think that repairing it will be very expensive. I think you should sell it. Uh, what? Sell this house? Mm. Uh. Yes, of uh. course. You can sell this house and then buy a new one or an apartment. I can help you. But we love this place. Mm -hmm. We don't want to sell the house. The cultural center is here. And Radio Rebelde, too. Mm -hmm. You can take the cultural center and Radio Rebelde to some other place. Oh. This place is useless now. Oh. Maybe it is time to sell this house. Yes. Oh. Let's make a sales plan. Oh. Sarasvati! Sarasvati! Guess what? What's happening? Ah, Jimena and Antonio are selling the big house. <gasps> They are selling the cultural center. What? The cultural center house? But why? They have a problem. The entire house is flooded. Can't they fix it? No, it's too expensive. This is terrible. Yes, let's tell the others. We have to do something. <laughs> Okay, the first thing you need to know is this. There are several ways of advertising that a house is for sale. This is a brochure. Yes, a brochure. 
We have a few houses for sale at the moment. Mm. The description of the houses are in the brochure. So, a brochure describes the houses for sale or for rent, right? Right. Mm. And this is a catalog, am I right? Mm. Yes, a catalog. Mm. That's mm. right. There are a lot of houses for sale or for rent in a catalog. Mm -hmm. But the descriptions are short. Mm. Mm. Okay, a catalog advertises houses for sale or for rent mm -hmm. with a short description of each one. Correct. And here you have an advertisement. Mm. Mm. Yes, an advertisement. Mm -hmm. Very useful. Look. An advertisement shows a picture mm -hmm. with very little information, but with contact information. Mm, yes, and you can display it everywhere, so everybody can see it. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm. An advertisement shows a picture of the house for sale mm. or for rent, but mm. gives very little information. Mm. Then you can stick it everywhere so everybody can see it. Okay, now... We know different ways of advertising a house for sale. Now what? Now, we must decide what we are going to do to sell your house. Mm. Mm. I can't believe they're selling the big house. And what about the cultural center and Radio Rebelde? I don't know. Maybe Jimena and Antonio will buy a new house. Buy a new house? Mm -hmm. To be honest, I really don't know how to buy or sell a house. Really? I will show you. Let's check that newspaper. Uh, uh, this newspaper? Yes, look. This is the classified ad section. Was he finance? Yes, anuncios classificados, Miguel. People use the classified ads to sell or rent things or properties, oh. like houses or apartments. Oh. Look! Oh. This is the classified ads section. Oh. Oh. And here are some classified ads, oh. right here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so... On these pages, you can sell or rent anything you want. That's right. And what kind of information do these classified ads have? Ah, oh, that's easy. If you want to sell your house, you should show the following information. Is it a house or an apartment? How many bedrooms are there? How many bathrooms are there? Uh -huh. Is there a garden? Uh -huh. Is there a garage? The size of the house in square meters. Uh -huh. Is it second hand or new? Uh -huh. What is the neighborhood like? Uh -huh. Okay. For example, if I want to sell my house, my aunt would say something like this. <laughs> House for sale. Mm -hmm. Two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. One bathroom. Mm -hmm. A small garden and no garage. Mm -hmm. The house is about 200 square meters. Mm -hmm. It's a second-hand house mm -hmm. and it's located in a quiet neighborhood. Right. Very good. You understand how to write a classified ad perfectly. It's all the basic information. So... Is that what Jimena and Antonio are going to do? Yes, I think so. I hope they're doing the right thing. The cultural center is like a home for me. Yes, for me too. So, are you ready to sell this house? <laughs> I still don't understand how this happened. Yes. Where did all this water come from? Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, don't worry about that. I'm sure the new owner will fix it. I guess you're right. Yes, of course, I'm right. 
Well, oh. let's see. I need information for the brochure, hmm. the catalog, and the advertisement. Okay. How many rooms are there? Four rooms downstairs, three more rooms upstairs, and the attic. <sighs> Mm, yes, and there's a Radio Rebelde studio on the roof. How many bathrooms? Four bathrooms. What else? A living room, a kitchen, and a beautiful garden. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'll sell this house very quickly, and my commission will be huge. What did you say? Uh, that's a shame. You're having to sell this lovely house. Okay, I think we're ready. Yes, let's sell this house. Perfect, let's do some advertising. ¡Hola! ¿Qué te pareció el programa de hoy? Jimena y Antonio van a vender la casa en donde está el Centro Cultural y también la cabina de Radio Rebelde. Lo malo es que nadie se ha dado cuenta de que fue el mismo vendedor de bienes raíces quien provocó la inundación en la casa. Por fortuna, en esta lección aprendimos mucho sobre la compra-venta y renta de propiedades. ¿Recuerdas cómo Saúl Zángano explicó los diferentes medios ¿Para anunciar una propiedad en venta o renta? Primero, ¿cómo anunciar una casa utilizando un folleto? En un folleto se pueden incluir unas pocas propiedades, pero se puede dar información muy amplia sobre cada una de ellas. También es posible realizar un catálogo. En un catálogo se pueden incluir muchas propiedades, pero menos información sobre cada una de ellas. Y por último, Saúl nos enseñó que también se pueden hacer anuncios grandes y llamativos y luego colocarlos en lugares públicos para que todo mundo pueda verlos. Estos anuncios usan pocas palabras y tratan de llamar la atención por las imágenes o los colores. Además, Cristal me enseñó qué información es necesario colocar en los anuncios clasificados cuando deseamos vender o rentar una casa o un departamento. ¡Es cierto! ¿Te acuerdas? Es importante responder a estas preguntas. Question. Is it a house or an apartment? ¿Es una casa o un departamento? Question. How many rooms are there? ¿Cuántas recámaras tiene? Question. How many bathrooms are there? ¿Cuántos baños tiene? Question. Does it have a garden? ¿Tiene jardín? Question. Does it have a garage? ¿Tiene garage? The property size in square meters. El tamaño de la propiedad en metros cuadrados. Question. Is it new or used? ¿Es nueva o usada? Question. How is the neighborhood? ¿Cómo es el vecindario? Una vez que has elegido qué propiedad te gustaría vender o rentar y que has obtenido esta información, puedes empezar a diseñar tu catálogo, o tu folleto, o tu anuncio clasificado. Nosotros intentaremos evitar que Jimena y Antonio vendan la casa y de que Saúl Zángano no se salga con la suya. ¿Lo lograremos? ¡No te pierdas el siguiente episodio! ¡Hasta pronto! ¡Hola! ¿Cómo están? En la lección anterior iniciamos nuestro proyecto final y aprendimos algunas formas para anunciar propiedades en venta. Primero, ¿cómo anunciar una casa utilizando un folleto? En un folleto se pueden incluir unas pocas propiedades, pero se puede dar información muy amplia sobre cada una de ellas. Si quieres saber qué ocurrirá ahora, te recomiendo que no te pierdas la lección de hoy. 
Unit 4, Lesson 16, Project Classified Advertisements Part 2. Elaborarán un catálogo en el que ofrecerán viviendas. Hola, ¿cómo están? En la sesión de hoy, continuaremos con nuestro proyecto final de la unidad 4. El día de hoy, aprenderemos a hacer un catálogo en el cual ofreceremos viviendas de todo tipo. <laughs> ok, Rebels. Are you ready for our special guest? The phones are ringing and I know you can't wait anymore. So, here he is, the Beach Monkey, the king of hip hop. Thank you very much, Jerónimo. I'm very pleased to be here with all your rebels. Listen, everybody. The Beach Monkey is looking for a new house. I want a house with six bedrooms mm -hmm. and one attic, mm -hmm. three bedrooms, mm -hmm. a living room, mm -hmm. a kitchen, and a beautiful garden, mm -hmm. and most important of all, a swimming pool inside the house. Mm -hmm. Do you want a swimming pool inside your house? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's my dream. A swimming pool in my living room. <laughs> a swimming pool in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rebels, you heard the beach monkey. If you have a house like mm -hmm. that, you know who wants it. Mm -hmm. Tune in for our next Radio Rebelde show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, I think we have enough information. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Jimena? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so. Let's see. House for sale. Four bedrooms, one attic, three bathrooms, a living room, a kitchen, a beautiful garden. Mm, perfect. Everything is here. We can start selling the house. I hope there will be enough space in the new house for the cultural center and Radio Rebelde. So, are we ready to sell? Yes, Saul. Here. This is the information about the house. Perfect. You gathered the information. Now, we will create a catalog. A catalog? Yes. I will offer your house with other houses and apartments also up for sale or rent. And then, I will publish it. And then? We wait for someone to call us. <laughs> <laughs> and then we sell this house. Mm -hmm. Yes, you understand perfectly. Okay, mm -hmm. what should we do? Okay, here's what you need to do. I have to write this down. Mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. gather specific details of the houses or apartments you want to rent or sell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get a sheet mm -hmm. of paper or cardboard and paints or pencils mm -hmm. of different colors. Mm -hmm. Design the layout of your catalog. Mm -hmm. Complete the layout with the information you gather. Mm -hmm. Use persuasive arguments. Mm -hmm. Try to be short, creative, and specific. Mm -hmm. Make an illustration of the houses or apartments you are offering. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat all that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I have to mm -hmm. meet another customer. Mm -hmm. Call me when you're finished. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A swimming pool in my living room. Oh, yeah. This is going to be my next hit. Good afternoon, sir. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, sir. Oh. oh, you scared me. I'm a very nervous monkey, sir. Excuse me, but I want to talk to you. I know you're looking for a new house. Mm. And guess what? What? Mm. I will help you sell this apartment and find the new house you're looking for. Really? That's great! What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. Please fill out this form. With this information, I will sell your apartment in my real estate catalog. Okay, let's see. Mm. Location? 
Colonia Madriguera del Chango, Fraccionamiento Los Bananos, México. I can see you have one bedroom, one bathroom, mm. a kitchen and a balcony. Yes, and this is my living room. I think it's about 10 square meters. Perfect. We can sell this apartment for... Uh, mm, one million pesos. <gasps> one million pesos? Wow. Mm, that's right. Now, we just have to write our phone number and we are done. Thank you very much, sir. Please, sign this contract and you can continue writing your new song. <laughs> <laughs> I will sell the Beach Monkey's apartment for one million pesos. And 40% is for me. <laughs> okay, let's see. We'll sell our house by catalog, right? Yes, and Saul told us that we need to do all this. Por principio de cuentas, primero debemos reunir detalles específicos de las casas u apartamentos que deseamos alquilar o vender. El paso número dos, debemos tener una hoja de papel y bolígrafos o lápices de diferentes colores. Ahora hagamos un diseño de nuestro catálogo. That's easy. I think we should put the title at the top and information on the right hand side of the sheet, like this. Mm. Perfect! And the illustration on the left hand side of the sheet. Like this. Mm. Right! But we need something more. Así. Completar el diseño con la información reunida. Mm. What else do we need? Mm. Utilizar argumentos persuasivos. We need to convince the customers. Mm -hmm. We must use persuasive arguments. Oh, I see. What do you think about this? Lovely house situated in one of the most beautiful towns in Mexico. I love it. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's write it down. And we can add something else. Mm -hmm. Something like this. Amazing price. Mm -hmm. Y por supuesto, hay que escribir tratando de ser lo más breve posible, creativo y específico. Okay. We wrote the information and it's short and specific. Mm, we place the title and we add two phrases as our persuasive arguments. Mm. We're almost done. Now, we add an illustration. Do you want to draw something? Mm, mm -mm. No, I am not good at drawing. I'd prefer a photograph. <laughs> like this one. Mm. 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 This looks great, Jimena. I think we just made a great advertisement for the catalog. Mm. Yes, me too. Mm. <laughs> Let's call Saul mm -hmm. and tell him we've finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rebels. And welcome to Radio Rebelde's new show called What's for Sale? Today, we have a special guest who will share his new real estate catalog with us. Please, welcome Mr. Saul Sangano, a real estate agent. Thank you, Jerónimo. I am very proud of this catalog. I'm sure a lot of people can easily find the house or the apartment they are looking for. Oh. <laughs> so, tell us, what exactly is a catalog? Mm, well, it's like a book. And on every page, you can find a house or an mm. apartment for mm. sale or for rent. Mm, that's incredible! And mm. tell us, Saul, once you find all the houses and apartments you want to sell or rent, how do you include them in the catalog? Mm. It's very easy. You check some things first. Mm -hmm. That the information is important and that there aren't spelling mistakes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic! Mm -hmm. And the last question. Are there any houses or apartments in your catalog that you would like to announce right now? Mm -hmm. 
A lot of people are listening to us. So you can get some publicity. Yes, of course. This great house, La Cubacha Cultural Center, is for sale. You should come and see it. It's flooded, but very quiet at night. That's right. The house from where we transmit Radio Rebelde is for sale. And I have another, an apartment. It's a very special one. And why is that? Because it's the Beach Monkey's apartment. Huh? And it's also for sale. Mm. It cost only one million pesos. Great! Mm. So you heard it, Rebels. If you want the Beach Monkey's apartment, you just need one million pesos. Mm. <laughs> Wait, I just heard this house is for sale. And it's flooded, right? I want to buy it. Really? Yes. It's the swimming pool in the living room I always wanted. Come on, sell me this house. Mm, okay, okay. Come on. Let's talk about the owners. <laughs> ¡Hola! ¿Qué te pareció el programa de hoy? En esta lección aprendimos los pasos a seguir para hacer el anuncio para un catálogo. ¿Te acuerdas cuáles serán? Reúne información específica de las casas o los departamentos que deseas rentar o vender. Consigue una hoja de papel o una cartulina y plumas o lápices de diferentes colores. Diseña un borrador de cómo quedaría tu catálogo. Completa el borrador con la información que recabaste. Utiliza argumentos persuasivos. Intenta ser breve, concreto y creativo. Haz un dibujo de las casas o los departamentos que estás ofreciendo. ¡Correcto! Y su resultado fue un anuncio como este. ¿Recuerdas por qué decidieron agregar las frases en color? Sí, son argumentos persuasivos para convencer a las personas interesadas de que compren la casa. ¡No te pierdas la siguiente lección! ¡Hasta pronto! ¡Uh -huh!